pretty countryside. Yeah, we'll have to get uh, I'll have to get the DLCs, uh, you know, so we can get up into Oregon and Washington, and I think Montana is one. Oh, look at that! What awesome man! Look at the view of the bay there. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Watch where you're going, OG. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to what is this? Uh, tr American Truck Simulator. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to pick up right where we left off from the last episode. We are on our way to San Francisco. Uh, we currently spent the night in Fresno and refueled the, the truck and uh, presumably went somewhere to get a bite to eat, too. Uh, I really wish the game would simulate that as well, um, but it doesn't, so it is what it is. And so, yeah, we're going to resume um, our trip. We are going to stop off, though, at a new... Uh, discovery location. Uh, so let's get our, oh, I guess our lights aren't on because our truck's not on. Oh, now it is. There we go. Okay. And, um, yeah, so let's take a look at the map here. We're just going to pop up to this little spot here, and then that's going to then get us on our way to head on up to Frisco. And uh, I don't think there's anything else in this town for us to discover. Okay. Well, let's get her done, man. Took off our parking brake. So we'll have a little bit of night driving. Well, driving in the dark. It's 5 o'clock in the morning, so... We should arrive at our destination around 9 o'clock. All right, hold on a second. Okay. So you want us to go right and then turn around here. My wife keeps texting me. <laughs> uh, okay. So we're clear that way. We have a green light if we hurry. Oh, I hit my my button there for view. Okay, it looks like we're gonna turn left up here, so we probably better get over into this lane. What in the world? Okay, hold on. It flipped me from six to neutral and totally threw me off there. And look at that, we got a green arrow. Let's go. And this is the place right up here we're supposed to discover. Direct hire. Okay, another recruitment place. Nice. Okay, so we now now we know of two recruitment places. Okay, well, let's get rolling on down the road here. We have 200 miles to go, four hours and 27 minutes. We're fully rested, fully fueled. We had some biscuits and gravy for breakfast at the motel, restaurant, or somewhere. We did. We had to. We had to have eaten somewhere. I just don't know where it was. <laughs> Oh, slow down. Slow down, OG. 30 miles an hour through here. Look at that parking garage there. That's cool. Truck care center. So at some point, I'm sure our truck is going to need maintenance and repairs. Um, I'm assuming we can do that at our own garage, but... If we're out on the road, we probably have to stop at one of those places with the wrenches. 
I don't know exactly when that will happen, but you know, when we need to do that, but uh, hopefully the game will let us know. Okay, we're going to do right up here. Leaving Fresno. Sure, we swing wide here so our trailer doesn't clip anything. Oh! Get over in your lane, OG. Fifty-five miles per hour. And it's starting to get light out too, which is nice. There's my high beams. Put those on for the moment unless we get some oncoming traffic. Put the cruise on. <clears throat> I wonder if the the oncoming tra traffic will flash you if your high beams are on. We should test that. <laughs> Might have to wait till the next time we're driving in like really dark, dark though. Because it is getting bright quickly. I'm going to look at the map here for a second. Gallon. Okay, that's probably an, an oil company. Oakdale. Oakland Supplies. I'm just trying to see if there are any more. I don't think there are any more question marks till we get uh, into Frisco. Uh, and then there's two that we're going to check up in Stockton before we take our next job. Um, oh, there's one here too. Okay, good. All right. I am recording this back-to-back uh, -back with episode three, just FYI, <coughs> in case you, you guys left me any comments uh, in episode three, I haven't seen them yet, but I wanted to wanted to get this, this first job, you know, done in these uh, two recordings here, so... The landscape has definitely changed from what it was before. The trucks just purring along, baby. Okay, so we have 162 miles to go, three and a half hours. That shouldn't take too long. I'm Wondering, yeah, that big old uh, smokestack up ahead of us is what I think is an oil company, and that's where we're going to turn off and get onto the interstate. So, for those of you who don't know, there's also a Euro Truck Simulator, which I, is made by the same developer, I think, pretty sure, yeah. And it actually came out before. Uh, American Truck Simulator did, and then there's a, like an even uh, a two version of it, like Euro Truck Simulator Two. Uh, but from what you guys were telling me in the comments, it's really, for all intents and purposes, the same game. But you know, you're in Europe instead of America, but everything more or less works exactly the same way as far as the gameplay itself. That's kind of neat. That bus make his wide turn before we make our wide turn. That's good. All right, let's get on the interstate, man. Get cruising here. Stockton. Still only 55, okay. Of 
cruise control is on. We're hitting the bumps on the shoulder. I need to get over a little bit. All right, well, I think this is a good time for some more music. What is my radio hotkey? I can't remember <laughs> what I set it to. That changes the... That thingy. Actually, I want to keep that on there. I don't know what that button does. I don't know what that button does. I mapped it to something. Oh, there we go. It's that one. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. What do we want to start with? Let's start with something really nice and upbeat. How about... Yeah, let's do highway. Want to ride this highway? It's a good song. It's perfect for driving. You know what? Um, I'm taking off that stupid automatic thing. It keeps throwing me into reverse when I'm not meaning for it to. Um, so let's see. Transmission. Where was the... Okay, hold on a second. Quiet. I need quiet. Uh, that was gameplay, right? Gameplay preferences. Truck settings, trans smart. Yeah, no, that that's messing me up even more than not having it on. So we're just going to have to manage this ourselves. I think what it does is after a moment, it switches, you know, like let's say I'm in seventh gear. 
and I guess if I am applying the brake or whatever, it switches from seventh right to neutral, but I'm used to having to downshift, and so then I throw it into reverse, not realizing that I'm throwing it into reverse, you know, that kind of thing, so. We'll just make do, we'll just train ourselves to use it without. It's probably better that way anyways, for learning, learning how to shift and all that. Okay, we've got our cruise control on. We are one hour and 37 minutes out, 70 miles to go. We're almost there, you guys. Almost there. We're gonna make some nice money on this trip. Kinda going through some, some farmland here, which is neat. Reminds me of my beloved farming simulator game. Man, I'm having fun with that game. Just loving it to death. If you guys happen to be watching me for the first time, uh, or you've only watched me play Trucking Simulator, I am a huge Farming Simulator fan. Um, and I have like, I don't know, something like 70 some odd episodes already recorded. Uh, so yeah, come and check that out on the channel too if you want to. A little shameless plug there. All right, we are in Oakland. Start slowing down here because we're going to have to turn right. Okay, we're good on our trailer clearance. Getting right back off again. Go around this little loop. Pretty countryside. Yeah, we'll have to get. Uh, I'll have to get the DLCs. Uh, you know, so we can get up into Oregon and Washington and I think Montana is one. Oh, look at that. What awesome, man. Look at the view of the bay there. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> Watch where you're going, OG. <laughs> We're going to go across the Oakland Bridge, aren't we? Oh, do we have to actually pay a, a toll? Oh, wow. Look at that. I think we do. How interesting. How realistic. Realistic is this to go through, you must pay $25. Press the following key, okay? Toll paid. Oh, neat, man. So, I think I think this is the oak called the Oakland Bridge. I have actually been across it, but it, it was a long, long time ago when I was a kid. can see the fog, I guess, coming off the water there. How neat is that? Okay, I need to get over. Very cool. I know I've I've said it a bunch of times now, but it's the scenery in this game that just really makes it fun to play. It's a huge, huge part of the, the satisfaction of playing this game. Look at that big old freighter over there. Okay, we need to start paying attention to what we're doing here. <laughs> City limit of San Francisco. Nice. 
Yeah, I mean, the last time I was in actually in San Francisco, I think it was like 12 years old. Oh, well, not counting flying through in the airport. And I've been, you know, I've been to Oakland and areas around San Francisco multiple times since then, but in the actual city itself, oh, we're speeding. Um, I think I was like around 12 years old or something like that. Very cool. Okay, slow down. Just narrow through here. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Uh, and then you want me to turn left? Oh, crap. I hope no one's coming. Here, get over quick. <laughs> Stay green. Eleven miles to go. Must have been interesting for the developers to figure out, um, you know, based upon real life, what routes to include in this game, particularly in a, in a big city like this, because obviously, you know, it, we can only go certain places. We can't like just go downtown and start driving. I'm going to get myself a ticket. I should probably. Well, no, I'm going to stay in this lane because it looks like we're going to be turning left here pretty soon. Are we? Are we going to turn right? No, it looks like we're going to turn right. Okay, can I get over? Okay, keep going through this light. Ambulance. And no right turn on red, even though we're supposed to be able to. We're not going to do it. Get into second gear. That's where we're going to start off in. Voltason Motors. Okay, let's see where we're gonna where they're gonna want this thing to go. Hopefully it's not too brutal. Okay, that's only a 40 XP straight back in thing. That should be good. We should be able to handle that. Proceed to unloading area. Alright, let me look at the map here really quick. So it's kind of over that way. Okay. Do we... Okay. I don't know if we go around to the right or around to the left. I think what we do here, actually, is I think we pull through here and then back up in behind this building, if I recall. Uh, we do are going to clear that, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, we are. Okay. I think we're just going to go right back there. Yep, okay. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. If 
pack. Yeah, this one should be easy peasy. So we have plenty of room to pull forward to completely straighten out the trailer. All right, let's pop her into reverse. And I want to take one kind of quick look. Ah, yeah, so we need to be on the to the right, not to the left. I'm glad I checked that. So, yeah, we're positioned actually really good for this. We should be able to do it in one shot. Check our other mirror, make sure no, no pedestrians or anybody's going to be in the way. Good on the left. And we are here. All right, we got an excellent rating. We got a proficiency bonus of $241. Long distance delivery bonus. Uh, so our total money is $14,110. And we got, looks like we got another level too. Current company job offers continue. Uh, okay, so this is if we want to keep working, I guess, for, was it Voltason? All right, let's do continue. Nice, you guys. This is great. Okay, so what should should we keep doing the long distance ones? Because this is what's going to, well, I mean, all of it's going to make us more money ultimately, right? Just in time delivery. I'm not, in the, I'm not too thrilled about the idea of being under pressure from time, so probably won't be doing a lot of those at the moment. Could do high value car cargo, so five percent higher reward for high value delivery, eighteen percent experience bonus for a high value delivery. Okay, five percent higher reward for delivering fragile cargo, twenty two percent bonus for delivering fragile. So fragile is actually a little bit higher than high value, but. <laughs> <laughs> there's, you know, there's a bigger chance that we might break something. Uh, okay, I think we should, let's go with at least one more long distance for now, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with those other ones. Excellent, man. Excellent. Okay, so let's decide what's going to happen next. Uh, we got a new ma a mail here. We can help you grow, dear sir, madam. We couldn't help but notice your steady earnings and would like to assist you and develop your potential. Even further, your credit limit has been raised to $500,000. Nice. Feel free to draw from the available sum anytime at your local bank center. Okay, so that, I, I don't think I'm going to do that quite yet. I'd like to run a few more jobs myself with my own truck, build up our money a little bit more. But eventually what we're going to want to do is buy a second truck and then hire a driver. But I think before we can even do that, we're going to need a larger garage. So maybe actually the next thing on our list should be getting another garage. Um, but again, I want to do a couple more runs first before before we do that build up our money a little bit more. Uh, and we are currently sitting at $26,852. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. All right, guys, let's take a look at the next job. Now, ideally, here, what's this? New upgrades uh, for Freightliner, up, rim upgrades, chassis. That's still only 120 gallon. Uh, well, look at the cost of that anyway. Cabin deflectors. Front mirror standard. Now, we, we don't need any of this stuff now. That's all just bells and whistles. We'll, that'll come later. We need to stay frugal here. Okay, let's go to the job market and go to the freight market. Now, I want to, yeah, I want to go by or, uh, origin uh, because I want to start in Frisco. I don't want to do dry runs if we can possibly avoid it. Um, so, so basically, anything from San Francisco 
going somewhere else um, is what we want to look at. So it looks like that's just going to be That all goes back to Vegas. I must have that. You know, oh, yeah, I have that sorted in descending order. Not that that, I don't think that matters a whole lot. So really, it looks like uh, the it's just everything on this page here, because then it starts from prim next. Okay, so now of these, this one is the highest pain, and it would send us back to Barstow. It is an 8-hour and 28-minute job. And it pays 30.89 uh, per mile. So that, that is the best. I think that's the best job. Um, is this, oh my goodness, is that that place that we had to do a U-turn backup? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I think it was, unless, uh, you know, maybe there's different types of eddies. Okay, well, anyway, it's a single trailer. It is 33,000 pounds, which is more or less kind of what we, oh, and it's cheese. We're taking cheese. Nice. Uh, more or less what we, you know, just hauled, and we had no problem at all with 33,000 pounds with our truck. So I think this is the one we want to take. So set as GPS destination. And also, um, let's go back to here for a second. We wanted to, we want to discover a couple more of these places here. So... Let's put a waypoint to there, and we want to run up to Stockton and discover those places. Uh, probably should do there and then there. And there's also a place that we could sleep here in Stockton. Um. You know, so we're we're fully rested for our trip home. And then there's a place that we can also refuel. Okay, so I think that is going to be the plan, Stan. Gonna go gonna be the plan. Um, I think though this is probably a good place for us to wrap up this episode. Excuse me. So I'm gonna let you go here. Uh we are gonna save right at this location here. And uh We'll call this save three. And we'll pick up right where we left off in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.